the Joe Rogan experience. I got one Wu-Tang question. <sighs> Was Wu-Tang designed... Sorry. I like the way you you start the quest of this I'm shit. I'm like, you did me, nigga. You, 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 you did like this. And you syllable, you syllable that shit. Yes, like, I did. <laughs> was. Yo, look, this <laughs> <a> <laughs> Okay, okay, go. Come sorry, on, sorry. sorry. How the fuck with you? Good. Okay, let me say. <laughs> was Wu-Tang, the vision in the design of Wu-Tang, was it designed to fall apart? And when I say fall apart, mm. was it designed where a group of individuals they were getting their equal due respect, needed a bigger platform so everybody see them at one time. Ooh. Did, 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 did you get that question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he's saying is you were also talented, part, but, to be, but to be, together you were bigger. Were you designed to elevate what I'm saying, the, the profile of all the all the members? And the reason the reason why I say this, years ago, years ago, years ago, years ago, I had a sketch group years ago. Uh -huh. Years ago I had a sketch group. It was 12 motherfuckers. Everybody had different personalities. Everybody was dope. Everybody could be a star in a different right or whatever, but nobody had the plan to get the people to see that everybody is nice. Right. Nobody yeah, I, I would say this, right? Wu-Tang was designed, right, to come together for a common cause, right? And that cause, of course, being to express our art, to rise ourselves out of poverty, and to feed our families. So that was, that was a, a foundation. But it, it's, it's not designed to fall apart. In fact, Wu Tang, that's why on our second album, it's called Wu Tang Forever. Right. Meaning, no matter what we do, no matter if I go make movies or Method Man make movies or you go write books. You come back together. Yeah, we always got to come back but together. But this is what I did. Wu Tang is forever. But hold on, let me finish the last thing. But now mm. to put us all on the same, like to expose it all to the world through one outlet, yes. It had to be that. It had to, it be, had to that. be that. Yeah, it had to be that. It had to be that. And the reason why I said it, because when I had my sketch group, I had my sketch group years ago. It's called Secret Society when I was doing it. I remember and that. I, I had this manager, and she came. This was before the Dave Chappelle show. It was mm -hmm. this thing. I was like, I'm going to do these jokes on my I've playbook. I've been watching you, bro. Look, and um, and then I said, uh, I said, um, my, my one of the managers I was working with, she was like, the name of my group was Secret Society. She said, I had Mike Epps. I had Mark Theobald. I had Red Grant. I had some bad motherfuckers. And, and she said, Donnell. I think Secret Society is falling apart. I said, nigga, it was supposed to fall apart. It was supposed to fall apart. Right. But where it fall, where did it fall? Does it land somewhere you could grow something else? Like I knew it was only three people that were gonna be stars, mm. but it was four other people that were gonna be writers. Right, right. It was two other another motherfucker that was gonna be. It was different shit, but we needed that. Okay, I got you now. So, you know what I'm saying? So fall, so fall apart, that word, when you said fall apart. I didn't mean it in a negative yeah. I meant like. You meant more like spread his wings. Spread his wings. Yeah. And like, even though, like, when I yeah. said that, I mean it like, even though, like, everybody, for the most part, everybody wanted to be a superstar. Everybody had the chops. Everybody wasn't a superstar. Right. And it's it's yeah. proven to this day. Some people's like this. Guess what? This motherfucker done wrote on eight different shows. We won. Right. This dude is touring in Europe. We won. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It was like, when I say fall apart, it was like, it was going to go there, and then it was just going to be like, mm. it fall like this, yo. Yo, it was good. We all got it. Now, let me so, go. That they're strong so, enough that they, they, they ex could exist independently. Independent in different areas. But different always areas. come back together if they exactly. want to. If they want That's to. why we called ourselves, we was like Wu-Tang forums, like Voltron. <clears throat> yeah. So you watch Voltron. Yes, yes. Each of the lions could fuck Hand up some, yeah. They could fuck yeah. some shit up. Yeah. But when you need the blazing sword... Everybody got to come together yeah, and form yes. Voltron. So, so we took that philosophy, and we knew that within all of our crew that any one of us was, first of all, Wu-Tang is a bunch of alphas. It, right. was, it wasn't like, what? Right. it wasn't no sucker dude. Like, Nobody in Wu-Tang got jeans that fit but you. <laughs> 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 You're the only one that got the jeans that's the size of you, son. I'm saying. <laughs> Niggas is 32, 38, son, all day, son. <laughs> Stupid. He said, I got jeans that fit. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> it's true. He's right. It's true, though, sir. If I don't sit, be like, come on, sir. Exactly. You already know what uh, you know, Ghost. That nigga, that nigga waits to 32. 30, he makes 42 uh, all day and double up on the, the belt. 90s, <laughs> the 90s baggy, right? Yes, yo, that's my nigga. Yo, we know back in those days, man, you may have on three pair of pants. Right. Yeah. And in, in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But not, nah, but the main, but the main thing is that to be able to, you know, what I mean, to 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 have the alpha energy, right, and then come to a to us into an industry that was lacking, 
that alpha energy. I yes. know. I was in That's New York. Well, you had it. I was mystical, in New York. You had mystical philosophy behind it too. Oh, of course. But that was the thing about it is like Wu Tang was inexorably connected to kung fu. Right. Like the, there was like yeah. there was that's the woo. Yes. And the, the, the thing about it, I was in Chinese New York, man, kung fu I was philosophy was a part of the music, right. man. It was like there was a thing about you guys that you were spiritual. There was like a there was an intelligence, and then of course you had ODB who was off the rails. <laughs> which was beautiful about right, it is right. that you you guys all existed together. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like even though you had this sort of spiritual kung fu kind of energy to it, you also had people just off the rails partying. But they had New York on fire too. Yo, they exactly. had New York on fire. Oh. Niggas used to have a uh, fucking Wu Tang sightings and there wasn't even no Wu person in there. <laughs> <laughs> they just be like, oh, Wu who's that? That was Wu Wu. Like, oh yeah, shit, man. I heard Wu Wu was up here. Yeah, 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 like right. that. Like, I don't know if there's ever been a group that you could just mention that. Anybody from Wu Tang was there. It was a whole bunch of not Wu Tang motherfuckers getting yeah. a lot of pussy. Yeah, just because <laughs> still and still yo, and still do. To this day, it's son. to this day. It's hey, to yo, this there day. was a guy. Hey, yo, there was. Hey, yo, that, <laughs> it's that, the that, truth, that was a, Joe. No, it's no, the truth, no, son. There's a guy like, that went on tour. I'm expecting Asian. Like, oh shit, <laughs> nigga, suck my dick, Wu all day. <laughs> hey, yo, there's a guy who went on. <laughs> you stupid. Am I telling nah, the truth, son? Right. Yo, there was a guy who went on tour. <laughs> Yo, check it out. A guy went on tour oh. as the fake Capadonna. Oh my god! He didn't get caught till, till he got about seventy grand or something like Where that. Where was that? In Baltimore, no, Atlanta. But he, he just did a tour. He just right. went out because right. you didn't. Because some so many of us, you might not know how a motherfucker look. You right. ain't gonna. You know what I'm Yo, right. you not gonna, Yo, you not gonna know oh when they god. start getting. In, and then you think about this. This is how Wu is so dope. You think about that. Then, then Wu got kids. <laughs> <laughs> Wu got kids. And that is like we at the point now. I'm old school. Wu kids got starting to have kids. So like that. So it's right? baby woos. Oh my god! It's well, the, the everywhere. The, beauty, the most beautiful. But some thing. people took advantage of it. Well, the most beautiful thing, though, you know, that's the beauty of art, creativity, and and being, you know, the spiritual aspect, the the alpha aspect. All these aspects multiplied us to be a unique s- s- version of the American dream. And when you look at, um, you know, we did the, the documentary of Mike's and Men on Showtime, and you can see that that it's more like it's like the lotus leaf grows out of mud, right? But it's the symbol of Buddhism, which is all this peace and beauty, but it grows out of mud. Mm. So we're like that, which grew out of the mud. 